पहले हमारा ये गांव में वो हमारा फैमिली पहले हुआ तो बोला जो पहले जो पैंतीस चालीस साल का बाद जो करला हुआ वही है पहले वो हमारा जो छोटा लड़का है एक एक साल तीन महीना हुआ उसका उम्र उसका पहले हुआ था उसका दो तीन दिन बाद हमारा जो एक लड़की है सुप्टिया छोटा लड़की है उसका हुआ उसका छः सात दिन बाद हमारा जो बड़ा लड़की है उसका हुआ ऐसे करके हम लोग पंद्रह सोलह दिन ऐसा ही हुआ हमारा फैमिली का On April 1st, 2024, Dhananjay Roy's 1-year-old son, Suboran Roy, started experiencing severe stomach pain and passed watery stool for at least 20 to 25 times two days in a row. Soon enough, 99 people of all age groups in the villages of Amjara 10, Amjara 11, and Maji Para 11 of the South 24 Paragnas were impacted by sudden acute watery diarrhea outbreak. Authorities rushed to the scene and identified traces of the bacteria responsible for cholera infection from a community hand pump. The pump was sealed immediately. For immediate relief, a tanker was deputed to provide water. But this too ended in a month. <laughs> बर्तन धोने का इसमें पानी आ रहा है अभी अभी आ रहा लोग ले रहे हैं इसमें पानी लोग ले रहे हैं कब से लेने लगे लेना खाना पीना नहीं नहीं ये कब से यहाँ से पानी पीने एक घंटे एक जोड़ते क्या तुम खाओ हाँ हाँ तो आपको कौन देता है इलेक्शन का बाद से फिर यही पानी पीता है ओके सब लोग पीते हैं आप पीते हैं अपार्ट फ्रॉम द कंटेमिनेशन ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर देर आर फ्यू इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड अंड पंप बिकम द सोर्स ऑफ कॉलरा कंटेमिनेशन इज देर अ कॉरिलेशन बिटवीन कॉलरा एंड हीट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली वाई इज इन द डेटा ऑन एनी आउटब्रेक फ्रॉम दिस एरिया shown on the integrated disease surveillance program database Cholera is an acute diarrheal infection caused by eating or drinking food or water that is contaminated with the bacterium Vibrio cholerae In the 1880s Robert Koch the German physician who detected Vibrio cholerae bacteria argued that the outbreaks from pandemics could potentially be traced back to the Sundarbans During the British Raj people were forced to move into the Sundarbans clearing mangroves for rice cultivation and the bacteria which was largely hitchhiking on other aquatic organisms found itself a new host humans Today the ongoing 7th cholera pandemic is estimated to infect 3 to 5 million people and kills between 1 lakh to 1 lakh 20000 people annually. Cholera is a seasonal disease. So usually uh, there are peaks in certain seasons and uh, uh, it comes during monsoon and pre-monsoon time in India but based on the because you you know that it is a climatic disease also so based on the temperature and uh, sea water level and the increase in copy pods all those things so the peak it might come in different countries in different um, time period in a uh, year the, when there is outbreak then usually this pond water this is being used by the common people and they wash the uh, soiled cloth and also many things of the patient in that water 
during that time culturing the water then you might get cholera in the past few years five states in our country face the highest cholera burden in the case of kolkata the sundarbans are in the most vulnerable position the gushaba block of the south 24 paragnas is a popular tourist spot in the sundarbans but in 2009 cyclone isla ravaged the island giving rise to one of the biggest cholera outbreaks in the region 15 years later most people in gushaba still use pond water for cooking bathing and washing utensils and clothes Gushaba block has 66704 households of which only 49.2% have functional water connections while the recent cholera hit Basanti has functional piped water connections in just 44.64% ওই দুটো একটা ডিপ টিউবওয়েল থাকে টু থ্রি আর এই মুহূর্তে যেটা রয়েছে ম্যাক্সিমাম ডিপ টিউবওয়েল গুলো খারাপ অবস্থাতে পড়ে আছে সেগুলো কোনো রিপেয়ার করা হয় না ियल in bashanti also the last place is uh, that we face the diarrheal crisis in bashanti so there is uh, the sanitation is one problem and the source of dengue is another problem diarrhea cases are a frequent occurrence in west bengal during monsoon these numbers seem to shoot up The IDSP database updated till June 30th does not flag an outbreak in South 24 Paragnas. We try to contact authorities about the state of cholera management in the state. According to them, things are well under control. But a visit to the infectious disease and Belagata General Hospital in the city just after Cyclone Rimal proved otherwise. Is there a cholera? See, uh, there's no documented or diagnosed case of cholera, but since there's a huge outbreak of diarrhea over here right now, it's like every day there are these fifteen, eighteen cases of cholera. Yeah, having COVID diarrhea. Yeah, for diarrhea. Previously, we used to have just one ward for dedicated to HIV patients, but now we have three wards and uh, gram-negative organisms are majorly responsible for diarrhea. So. Uh, There's something called clinical features which some patients present with, like there can be signs and symptoms. Now, since these patients are presenting with classical rice watery stool, it's a classical symptom of cholera. So we are doubting it to be cholera. As a documented, नहीं है पर से, but हाँ अगर हम वो test करवाएँ तो many can turn up. So we went to the hospital. We spoke to the house surgeon. There we learned that uh, in the last 15-20 days, there's been an increase in the number of people with, you know, getting admitted with diarrhea. Uh, they call it uh, in loosely. I mean, it's actually officially called acute gastroenteritis. Uh, and what's what we're seeing is that uh, none of them, at least from what we've spoken so far, none of them have been uh, tested for cholera. And uh, the doctors were telling us that f- at least 50% of them are showing a classical sign of cholera. They they're doing routine micro microbiological examination, but they haven't been sent for uh, cholera test. Weak surveillance is listed as one of the reasons why cholera is underestimated in India. In 2007, for instance, the country reported some 2600 cases to the WHO against 19000 cases identified at the ID hospital alone. Governments are also reluctant to acknowledge the true burden due to fear of societal repercussions and economic sanctions. it it starts from the ground level these asha workers who are actually reporting now what who gets is actually what the asha worker reports she reports a case 
when she feels that it could be diarrhea she reports diarrhea mm -hmm. when she feels that no i've been reporting too much also mm -hmm. I'll, I'll make it less it's totally up to her and now whatever they write goes up one level mm -hmm. to the health worker mm -hmm. then the health worker writes to the um, uh, block officer mm -hmm. block officer it keeps going up and every time you know every time you keep changing and going up something is some mess information is lost center again have their own uh, you know filtering system mm -hmm. and then they will report it to WHO mm -hmm. if and when they feel like it mm -hmm. so you see right from the beginning the whole process is uh, uh, not 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 working properly and and most importantly there is no supervision but kolkata and the whole of india now has a new problem as the country warms up the number of cholera cases could potentially go up the month of may this year has witnessed 17 reported outbreaks across india which could be linked to rising temperatures and the subsequent water scarcity the village of Basanti mentioned at the beginning is a very recent example. Early and proper treatment has lowered India's case fatality rate to below 1%. Still, the country is not out of the woods. Vibrio cholerae could thrive in a warming world due to increased flooding, droughts and heat waves. Prior to El Nino years, what happened? There is a rise in sea surface temperature. There is a rise in sea surface level. So that causes increased sunspot and increased temperature of the sea rises and that causes flooding of the coastal areas. So it spreads to the mainland. At the same time, when there is drought, there is a concentration of environmental cholera because the environment gets dried up and it contains a lot of cholera, vibrio cholerae. And then there is breakdown in water sanitation, it enters human body and it starts the cycle. This is the cycle. There is a very highly climate sensitive disease in where there is flooding, where there is drought, cholera occurs. And the, uh, there are a lot of data that with one degree rise in temperature, uh, one degree rise in same, uh, temperature, there is a huge rise in cholera, diarrhea cases and cholera cases. Vibrio cholera has been here for centuries. It's a living organism that survives in marine water, hitchhikes on other organisms, and thrives in unsanitary conditions. Our journey through Kolkata made it clear that the issue of cholera persists with massive underreporting. Ensuring that the villages like the ones in Sundarbans and the urban slums of Kolkata get access to clean drinking water and sanitation can go a long way in containing the spread.